Ladies and gentlemen, this is Envoy of Kairos, back for more Infernex. I farmed up a little bit of cash, and now I'm getting this spell. And I'm going to use that to try and finish up another quest line and get a few more boosts of XP and gold before I go to deal with that dungeon again. So, my next move should be... Ah, to teleport here. And I should be able to get back over to the peak pretty easily and use that new spell. To summon a little friend that'll go out of its way to pull that lever and help me get further across the peak. And that way, hopefully, I can finally retrieve that guy's soul and save him. Okay. This woman is the one most likely to have the elixir I need for that mission. But it's a little expensive. Hopefully, I'll have that gold soon. Actually, I've got it now. So I may as well go ahead and do that so I can complete one more quest. then I'll have to climb that part of the mountain again, but it's quick, it's worth it. There we go. Wait. Did I just accidentally use the... Oh wait, no, I summoned my familiar. Which wasted a bit of mana. Shit. Although he doesn't seem to be disappearing. That's a spell that apparently lasts a while. And he brings me gold I dropped. Attacks my enemies, brings me gold. That's a good familiar. Now, like any good D&D familiar, go pull that lever for me. Thank you. An upside-down cross with a man on it hanging from the ceiling. That's grim as fuck. A lot of little shadow demons up here. Oh. Hans is hiding up here. How the fuck did you even get here? Oh great, we have another cultist base. This looks like a boss arena. And somehow it's not. Hmm. Probably will be on the way back. Okay. 
found another shrine, and this appears to be the next dungeon. A lot of... Hmm. A lot of shady shit going on here. Get an upgrade real quick. Eh, I don't have enough for what I want. Okay. And now... I found this. I managed to get through this whole peak. That guy's soul's probably inside the cultist base, trapped there. I've got no way to get into the cultist base yet, and I don't feel ready for that dungeon. But I've got the elixir that this guy up in Koski was looking for. So I should probably take that to him. Ah, he got the wrong button. Right. Use this spell again, because everybody just hates the night time here. I mean, with this many demons, I can't exactly blame them. Alright, you, good sir. Yeah, I'll help you out. Yes, I have the elixir. Yes, I'm ready. As ready as I can be. Oh. Okay, got some fucked up unique enemies in here. A lot of lava. Really fleshy mindscape. These enemies are dropping gold, but... Uh, is that even gonna follow me to the waking world when I finish here? These nightmare creatures can teleport, but... They're melee only, so that makes them... less of a threat than the spellcasters in that dungeon. Ah, it looks like I have to jump off of this in order to get the height I need. Okay. This Nightmare Dungeon is honestly pretty cool. And the music is definitely suitably haunting. Honestly, with all the tentacles in the background, the fact that this takes place in a dream, it feels more eldritch than demonic. Okay, here's the boss inside his brain, then. Okay, dickhead, let's go. Oh, 
Okay, so you keep birthing more beasts. I'm gonna call you Echidna. Okay, I've got their health half down already. Making this kind of easy, aren't you? Yep, next time you use that eye on me, you're dead. Down you go. Okay, that was disgusting. Well, that's another unique boss down. There you go, buddy. Alright, how much cash did I get from him? 300, not bad. And now I've definitely got enough for some considerable upgrades. My damage, I think I'm pretty good on. Health is definitely what I need most right now. Oh wow, the next one actually requires me to max out my experience stock. Okay. I should probably save too. So how much is that weapon upgrade you were offering? 400? I can get that pretty quickly. What other quests do I have stockpiled, though? Just the possessed guy whose soul I still need to collect. Alright. Well, I do have one thing I can do. Because I'm pretty sure by now... That one guy in the barracks here who wasn't talking to me should have a mission for me. At least I'd hope so. If not, that'd be pretty fucking annoying. Oh, wait, no. Uh, yeah, the barracks was this way. Pretty sure the guy I was looking for is back here. Okay, and he still doesn't have anything for me. Okay, well, in that case, I guess all I really can do is farm a little cash from a few enemies and then try and take on one of those two dungeons. I think I'll make my way up to this one. It's the simpler of the two. Alright, summon my familiar, and oh wait, it's already open. Oh, 
Oh wait, do you have any intel on how to get in there? Nope. Guess I shouldn't have expected as much. Okay, I've got the 400 now. So, once I get up to the shrine here, and I have it as a teleport, then I'll head back up to the Mountain Peak town. And I'll get that Mesa upgrade before I come back to deal with the dungeon. Definitely something tucked there, but I have no idea how to go about getting to it. Okay, recover this teleport point. After having lost it before thanks to a very untimely death. Now let's go back up here get that mace, and then we can come back and deal with the dungeon. Ah, shit, I get here and of course it immediately turns to night and closes the shop. Yeah, go ahead, waste my time and make me use that spell. upgrade. Yes. Okay, that's the level 3 mace. My damage is going to be considerably boosted. Taking out the next boss should not take long. Now let's teleport back here. and dominate this next dungeon. Oh! Okay, just like the big beefy motherfucker I took out at the start of the game, and... a lot easier now with all this damage I've got. Ah, shit. Okay, looks like I'm going to be relying on that extra jump a lot. Oh yeah. Hopefully I get an ability that can take me across a distance that great while I'm in here. So sure as shit can't do it as I am. Oh, and there's my timer, which I can't get because I'm about to... okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call this episode for now. Episode 11 is done, and I'm going to go straight into recording 12. This is Envoy of Kairos signing out, and I'll see you guys next time in which I will hopefully conquer this dungeon as well. Later, guys. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're looking to support me a little further, you know, maybe get some bonus content or just keep up with me and other fans, you can find links down in the description leading to my Patreon, my Discord, and my Twitter. And, you know, if you're following me on Patreon, then you can expect some content polls to decide what's coming up on the channel yet. A little bit of, uh, background additions to some other series I've been working on, you know, some more original and creative stuff. And who knows, if enough of you start supporting me soon, I might have a few other surprises up my sleeve too. Again, thanks for watching, 
and I hope to see you all again on the next video.